Notice that the fraction i over the square root of i can be rationalized by multiplying the numerator and the denominator by the square root of i. Now we can simply cancel out these two imaginary units on the top and on the bottom. And this gives us the square root of i. So we found our first equation. i over the square root of i equals the square root of i. Notice also that 1 over the square root of i equals the square root of 1 over the square root of i, which equals the square root of 1 over i, which is the same as the square root of 1 over the square root of minus 1, which is the same as the square root of the square root of 1 over the square root of minus 1. And this is the same as the square root of the square root of 1 over minus 1, which equals the square root of the square root of minus 1. In other words, the square root of i. Thus, we found our second equation. It turns out that these two equations are the same. So, we can say that i over the square root of i equals 1 over the square root of i. But, wait a second. This means that if we cancel out these two terms in the denominator, we get i equals 1. And that's it. Thanks for watching. No, this is wrong. But why is it wrong? I mean, what was our mistake here? Well, let's replay the scene. 1 over the square root of i equals the square root of 1 over the square root of i, which equals the square root of 1 over i, which is the same as the square root of 1 over the square root of minus 1, which is the same as the square root of the square root of 1 over the square root of minus 1. And this is the same as the square root of the square root of 1 over minus 1, which equals... This is not true. So actually, our second equation is not true. But why? Well, the answer is that the property that the square root of a over the square root of b equals the square root of a over b is valid if and only if a is greater than or equal to zero and b is greater than zero. So the problem is that we cannot apply this property for the square root of minus one. And that's where the contradiction lies. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and you might want to watch this other video right here. See you guys there.